getting my screen set up. Okay, hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. <laughs> One more time, if you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so that I know everything is a-okay. I see Lolly. She says, yes, thank you, Lolly. Julia, hello, thank you, Julia. Sleepwalker, hello, thank you. Alice, yes, Alice says yes. Samuel says yes, thank you. Ella, hello, hello. Jaco, hello, how are you doing? Tetsuro, how are you? Okay, good to see everyone. Thank you for being here with me because without you, there's no reason for me to be here, no. Mitra is here, all right. Hello, Cho, all right, Cho is in the house. All right, all right, I feel good. I hope you feel good too. Fabricio, yes, nice, okay, good, good, good. Um, well, <laughs> well, we always have, let's, go, let's start with our toast. Let's go ahead and start with our toast. World of Culture, hello, Mary Poppins, hello. All right, so let's do our Toast for Good Luck. Yeah, we need it, everyone needs it, the world needs good luck. So whatever you have, pick it up for our toast. Of course, I have hot coffee, yes I do. All right, so we'll have two toasts today. Our first toast will be for the green team, yes. They support me, they support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. You see them, their names are green. They are the green team. Let's say thank you to the green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. All right. For our second toast, yes, it's for you. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Hey, Tomas is here. Hello, Tomas. How are you? Okay, now about today's lesson plan. Yes, we gotta talk about today's lesson plan. Here it is, and we will be here for two hours. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice with me and with the chat. And one thing about the chat, because of bots and because of spamming, only subscribers can enter the chat. So if you want to chat with us, please subscribe to my channel and you will get in. I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out by having only subscribers in the chat. It makes it safe, it makes it fun, it makes it a, a, a nice place for us to practice English together, all right? So if you want to enter the chat, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you for that. Now, um, we'll be here for two hours, yeah? And we're gonna do five activities. We're going to form a sentence. I will give you a pattern, and then you will write sentences based on that pattern. Then, activity number two, what's wrong? This activity, the picture doesn't necessarily match the sentence, so we have to fix the sentence so it matches the picture, yeah? So write the sentence to match the picture. Then activity number three, get, uh, describe and guess. I will describe a picture and you guess what I am describing. And today's topic is furnishings, furnishings. So furnishings, things that you buy for your house to make your living there comfortable, all right? so. Furnishings is the topic, and I'm going to describe a furnishing, and then you um, tell me what it is in the chat, yeah? Activity number four, we will do dictation cards, and the topic is enjoy, um, 
enjoy activities, enjoy occasions, right? So let's enjoy ourselves, right? So enjoy. And then our fifth activity, our last activity is Lolly's Revenge. And that is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. And I will read the conversation. I will ask you questions about the conversation. We will read the conversation together and we will shadow the conversation together. All right, so that's what we're doing today. So I hope you are ready to practice with me and with the chat. So let's get right to it. Miley's in the house. Hello, Miley. Good to see Miley. Okay, so let's get right into it, shall we? Let's um, form a sentence. I'm going to give you a pattern and you're going to use that pattern to make your own sentence. Here we go. Activity number one, here is my pen, here is my whiteboard, here is the pattern, and I'm going to write it on the board for you. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling good today. All right, here we go. Number one, so I'm going to keep it all on the board, all the activities, so I'm numbering them so we keep everything on track, keep everything in order. Form a sentence. Now, here we go. Here is our sentence, uh, or I should say, here, I should say, here is our pattern. Here is our pattern. I'm going to give you the pattern, and you're going to give me a sentence. Subject, right? Subject, you, me, he, she, it, they, you, all right? Subject, had. Gone to the place already. There's our pattern, everyone. Period. There we go. That's it. Subject had gone to the place already. So I will give you my sentence, all right? So you have a guide. Well, here's a guide, right, the, the, the pattern, but I'm going to add context, all right? I'm gonna add context because here we have just the basic pattern and context, I'm gonna give more information. I'm gonna tell you what is happening here. Okay, so I, that's, that's the subject, I for my sentence. Your subject can be he, or she, or it, or they, or you, okay? So mine is I, I had, so we're keeping this the same, keeping this the same, I had gone, I had gone, that's the same, and then to the place. So this is someplace, anywhere. I had gone to the store. Okay, that's the context, that's I decided store for the place. And then this is going to stay the same already. I had gone to the store already. So in that in this situation, maybe someone says, maybe someone said, "Oh, go get some milk." No, I I I had all you know. I had gone to the store already. <laughs> I don't want to go back. Right? I had gone to the store already. I do not want to go back there. No. Too many people, it's crowded. I had already done it and I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm finished with the store. I had gone to the store already. All right, what is your sentence? Tetsuro, I had gone to the spa already. I don't want to go back. Yes, you do. <laughs> I want to go back tomorrow. Okay, um, three, I had gone to Cambodia already. Sleep park, I had gone to the shop already. I'm not going back again. Let's see. Um, Lolly, I had gone to Italy already. Wow, so you want to go to a different place. So th this is kind of like a... a it's not so negative, but um, so for example, Lolly says, 
I had gone to Italy already, so I don't want to go back, right? So there are many countries in Europe. So if we're deciding, okay, where should we go next summer? And so Lolly would say, oh, I had, um, I had gone to Italy already, so I want to visit a, a different place. Yeah. So here, someone asked me, oh, um, go, get, go get milk. I go, no, I had already gone to the store. I don't want to go back. So it's kind of, I guess it's kind of, a, it's not negative, but you don't want to go back again. Because you have already done it. Okay, so Mary said, I had gone to the gym already. So maybe in, in Mary's situation, um, so Mary, she went to the gym, and then her friend, Mary's friend, says, oh, let's, let's, let's go for a long walk. And then Mary's a little tired, and she says, uh, I, had, um, I had gone to the gym already, so I want to relax. See, Jocko. Hello, Jocko. Mwah. Jocko's in the house here. Let's see, Jocko, what does she say? I had gone to the supermarket to buy some fruit already, so I'm not going back. Tomas says, I had gone to the post office already, so I'm not going back. Alice says, I had gone to Japan already, so I want to visit a different place. Aicha says, I had gone to the meeting already, so... I don't need any more information. Fabrizio, the astronauts had gone to space already, so they want to stay on Earth. <laughs> Tomas says, I had gone to the supermarket already, so I don't want to go back. Hey, Sham, Julia had gone to the airport already, so I'm not going back. <laughs> um, Trolley, I had gone to the police office already. I don't want to go back. Tomas, the boys had gone to work already. So they want to relax. They don't want to go back to work. Okay, Sleepwalker, question. Mark, why don't we say I have already gone to the... We can. We can do that. What's the difference is there's no difference. <laughs> it's just you, you, the adverb. You can just put this in different places. You can move it. You can move it. So you, you, your example is fine. Let's see. Um, Sleepwalker says, um, I have already gone, right? So this is just, I had gone. So this is just the, the um, past perfect, right? So I had gone. So I have already gone. So, so yeah, maybe then I have already gone. So um, maybe then it's like... Um, Let's see, I have already gone shopping, so then it's more of a past progressive form, where here, there's no ing. Let me look back. I have already gone to the store. Yeah, there's no difference. No difference. It's just, you know, um, preference. A lot of things, there, in English, there's more, there's, there's more, there's more than one way to, to say something. And w whatever is easier for you, whatever you prefer, right? This is just one way to, to say that you have done something and you don't really want to do it again. Okay. Yeah, and so Hannah says, I had gone to the dentist already. So, right, so someone asked you, oh, you know, did you go to the dentist today? Um, yeah, I had already, or I had gone to the dentist already. Okay, Manome, I had gone to the park already. Yeah, so I don't want to go back, right? So maybe your kids, you know, let's go to the park. Oh, I had... You know, I had gone to the park already. Okay, Harry says, um, let's see, I had gone to the office or I have gone to the office. Yeah, they, they're both same meaning. Same, same, Harry. 
Miley, I had gone already to the emergency room. Another fall. Oh boy. So this is my second time to the emergency room. I had coffee already. <laughs> so, so, um, Manome, like that would be like, oh, would you like some coffee? Oh, I had, I had coffee already. Chuckle, I had gone to Seoul already. Yeah, so what, what country do you want, to, or what, which city do you want to visit? Oh, I had gone to Seoul, Seoul already, so I went to visit um, Busan or something, right? Uh, Sleepwalk, I had gone to the gym already. Miley, let's, oh, is Maya? I didn't see Maya. Maya's in the house. Okay, Tomas, um, it is the same as in Hungarian. The word order is flexible um, in this kind of sentence. Yeah, good, good, good. So yeah, so we're just, I'm just giving you, you know, each week, each week I just want to give you uh, different um, patterns to practice, right? So of course, there are always um, different ways to say things. So every week I just want to present a different pattern for you to practice, right? So that's the purpose. We're here just to practice. We're going to practice this form. Okay, fun. <laughs> yes, my son wants to go to the park every day, of course. I, my, my kids now are getting older, but yeah, um, I know. <laughs> I know. Even like maybe sometimes you're, you feel tired. You want to relax, but your kids say, I want to go to the park. You go, no, we had already gone, to, or we had gone to the park already. Oh, Tomas says, did you have lunch already? Not yet, says Tomas. I have. Um, I had, you know, I have already had lunch. Fabricio, I had gone to the desert to try to find water already. I'm thirsty. Yeah, so in, in Fabricio's situation, I had gone to the desert to try to find water already. I'm thirsty. That means he went there to find water, but he couldn't. There, he did not find any water. He is still thirsty, and that's, um, that's too bad. Let's see. Okay, Maitre, I had gone to driving school already. So maybe um, in that situation, that's funny because um, we could say, Maitre, you, another car crash? You crashed your car again? You, you, you wrecked your car again? And then Maitre says, yeah, I had gone to, or, or wait, 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 this would be it. Maitre, you crashed your car again? Shouldn't you go to Traffic, or shouldn't you go to driving school? One more time. Mitra, you crashed your car again. Shouldn't you go to driving school? And then Mitra says, I had gone to driving school already. <laughs> I go, oh no, Mitra, you should study harder. <laughs> okay, um, Miley, you had gone to the pub already. Won't you get drunk? <laughs> Won't you get won't you get too drunk? Right? Go go back twice. That's too much. Oh no, Mark hadn't read some. I'm sorry, Lolly. I've been talking to the camera. I haven't been looking at the chat. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go back right now, Lolly, and check. Okay, I see one of Lolly's sentences. I had eaten lunch already. That's good. Oh, I see another one. Hello, Maya. Hello, Maya. I saw that sentence. Oh, here's another. I had gone to the doctor already. I don't want to go back again. Nice sentence, Lolly. That's my feeling. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like that sentence. Um, I had, where is it? Where is it? I had gone to the doctor already. I don't want to go back again, right? And that's what that, that happens. Like that's what's happening to me right now because I have um, ringing in my ear, this ear, 
there's a G ringing. And so I have to go back to the doctor to get, you know, the doctor checks my ear and gives me medicine. So I always have to go back to the doctor and I don't like it because I don't have time. I have no time. Candy says, I had gone to school already. Okay, good job. Let's see, Tetsuro said, or Fabricio, I'm sorry, says, something had gone wrong already. Let's try again. Yep. Okay, good job, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. We always have to be careful with the time, yes. However, on Friday, we're going to practice this again, right? We we review on Friday, so today we, we did this for the first time, right? Or I introduced it, we did it today, and then on Friday we will review this again, okay? So let's um, stop number one and let's go to number two, shall we? Okay, Alice, I'd gone to see a doctor already, good. Jaco, I had gone to, okay, I had, I had gone on vacation already. Okay, Jaco, I had gone on vacation already. Okay, here we go, number two. Number two, what's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna match the sentence with the picture. Yeah, so we got, we got pictures. This are our last three. So every week we've been doing three. And today we have the last three. One, two, three. But I made a new one today. So next week we'll, here's the new one I did. And we'll, we'll start on the new one next week. But today we're gonna finish this. So we got three more to do. So there are sentences and there are pictures. But the sentence sounds strange. It doesn't really fit the picture. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put this sheet on the screen so you can see it. And then I'm gonna give you time to look over. I'm gonna give you time to look at the sentence, look at the picture, think about how to change the sentence so that it matches the picture, all right? Then after I give you a couple minutes to do that, I'm gonna take it down. You can't see, you can't see the paper, and I'm going to read one of the sentences. And so you have to, you have to listen and think, okay, which, which sentence and picture does that belong to? and then fix it, okay? So let's do it because we have to fix it because it's wrong, right? It's wrong, so we have to fix it. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put it up on the screen so we can see. There it is. So I'm gonna enlarge it. Yeah, we gotta enlarge it so we can see it easier. We can look at the sentences. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to give you some time to look at the sentences. Please, please, um, I'm going to look at the clock. We'll, we'll, I'll give you a couple minutes here to, I'm going to put it over here because I have to get on this side. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to give you some, I'm looking at the clock. I'm going to give you some time to look at the sentence, look at the picture, try to think of, um, sentences that match the picture. Yeah, so Fabricio, Fabricio says something is not right. So what is not right with these sentences? What is not right with these sentences? Okay, I'm gonna give you another, let's do, I don't know, 15 more seconds. 
I'll give you 15 more seconds. And then I'm taking it down. And then I will read a sentence, the wrong sentence. Yeah, I'm going to read the wrong sentence and you replace it. Yeah, you fix it and put it in the chat. Okay, we're going to, I'm, I'm ext okay, five seconds. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so I'm going to take it down now. Take it down. Make it smaller, and then I'm going to, then I will erase, or not, I will take it off the screen. Take it off. Okay, it's off the screen. So here we go. Number one, number one, please fix the sentence. I always spill on a CD. I always spill on a CD. Please fix the sentence. I always spill on a CD. Yeah, we did, Harry. So we got three more. So we've done most of them already. So we got three left today, and then we've done them all. So yeah, we did the teapot, Harry. Yeah. OK, here we go. Sleepwalker, I always burn on a CD. Good. So Sleepwalker says, I always burn on a CD. So that means like burn. So that's figurative. That's uh, to, to um, put information on the CD, right? So the CD, is, you can put digital material on the CD, right? So burn meaning to, to put um, the, the digital material in the CD. We, you burn it in. So there's like little lasers and that's burning the information into the CD. Okay, Lolly dance. I always dance on a CD. <laughs> You'll break it. <laughs> so, um, Lolly, um, maybe I always dance to CDs. How about that? I always dance to CDs. You don't want to dance on the CD because you will break it. So I always dance to a CD. That's good. Manome, I always break a CD. Okay, I always... Now, I always, so we want the, the, the um, present tense verb, okay? We don't, want, we don't want the past tense verb. We want the present tense verb. Okay, Ella, I always spend money on a CD, all right? So, so Ella, we spend money. I always spend money on a CD. Sleepwalker, I always, I always record on a CD. Good. Yeah, Fabrizio, I always record on a CD. Okay, Tetsuro, I always play a CD. Good. All right, Samuel, I always enjoy a CD. So we don't need on, just I always enjoy a CD. Miley, I always record on a CD. Sleepwalker, I always copy on a CD. Good. Sleepwalker, you, you always have, Sleepwalker always has um, lots of sentences, and they're always correct. Oh, Tomas says, I always save dates on a CD. Nice. Yeah, that's very, that's a good idea. You know, you, you make a CD and you put the date on it, so you don't forget because they're just white, right, or silver. So you have to write on the CD so you know what CD it is or what's in the CD. You have to you make a little memo on the CD so you know what's in the CD. Manome, I broke the CD because no use of... Oh, I don't have use of it. Good. Okay, Manome, I broke the CD because I don't have use of it. Fabrizio, I always write the artist name on a CD. Okay, love. Uh, okay, Javelin. I am always on a CD. Okay. How about I am always listening to a CD? I am always listening to a CD. Sleepwalker, I always put on a CD. Yeah, so put on music. And, and so the CD has maybe Sleepwalker CD has music on it. So 
so instead of saying, oh, put on some music, right? Maybe if you say, oh, put on some music, that means you're, um, you know, putting the CD into your CD player so you can listen to music. Um, let's see, Harry, CD, what verb should it be? I always sleep on, um, yeah, CD, right, is a compact disc, compact disc, and it holds information, digital, digital information, so files from your computer. So, um, I used to save information on a CD, but now I don't. I put it on my, um. I have a, a hard drive, external hard drive, and that's what I use to um, save all the, my special, everything in my computer here, I, I save onto external hard drive. In case this computer crashes, I have all my information, you know, all my files on another hard drive. So that's very important. But back a long time ago, I used CDs, yeah? I'm sure most people did too. Fabrizio, I always release my songs on CD if I would be a singer. <laughs> okay. Hey, Marcos is here. Hello, Marcos. Okay, I always buy some CDs, yes. I, I am always used on it. Okay, um, Jav Javelin, I always use a CD. I always use a CD. Sleepwalker, I always obtain on a CD. Okay, that obtain, okay, you need to obtain something. So you might say, uh, I always obtain information on a CD, or I always obtain um, books on a CD, or, you know, what are you obtaining? Like, obtain is get, right? So what are you getting? Um, from the CD. My try, I always buy a CD. Okay, Fabrizio, I always receive demo songs on a CD. Chaco, I always keep a CD in the drawer. Yeah, for, you know, emergencies. You got, you know, you need to, like, you just want to put that information out of your computer in, onto a CD so then you can use the, yeah, so maybe... You know, you, you took some pictures with your digital camera, then the digital pictures go into your computer, and then you want to um, maybe give someone those pictures, so then you burn a CD, you put those pictures onto a CD, and then you give them to your friend, say, hey, here, here are some pictures from our trip, or here are some pictures from our barbecue, and then your friend, can then put the CD into their computer and see the pictures and go, wow, nice pictures. Okay. Shams, I always record a CD. Panda, I always watch. I always watch a CD. Javelin, I am always listening on a CD. Or actually, I like two. I, I'm always listening to a CD. So, Javelin, I like... I, I, you should say two. I, I am always listening to a CD. Fabrice, I had gone, I had gone vinyl already. I always prefer on C. Okay, Fabrice, I had gone play the vinyl already, but I always prefer play on C. Okay, you need to fix that. It's confusing. So maybe I used to play, I used to, Listen on vinyl, but now I prefer listening to a CD. All right, I used to listen to vi to vinyl. I used to um, I used to listen to my music on vinyl, but now I listen to it on a CD. Julia, I always store a CD in the box. Good. Yeah, there you go, Sleepwalker. I always obtain info on a CD. Good. Aha, Tetsuro. I always scratch my. I always scratch my um, my my um, CD. I always scratch my CD. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, Tomas, I have a few old vinyl records, but have no 
turntable to put them on. <laughs> I remember when I go into the record store and they're switching over from vinyl to CD because I remember I would go into a record store and you know most most of the store had the vinyl you know the the LPs right and then just a little little section of CDs right and then I remember it switched right so at the beginning you had mostly vinyl um, records right LPs and then just a few CDs and then all of a sudden it switched all of a sudden all CDs and a few vinyl and then vinyl went out yeah okay let's do another one okay let's see Fabrizio fixed his sentence I used to listen to music on vinyl but today I always listen on CD perfect sentence Okay, good. There are Sleepwalker, there's her CDs right there. Oh, you remember, so Tomas remembers that as well. He remembers too where, where the record store switched from vinyl to CD. Because I'm sure it's like cheaper, right? So that, I'm sure that's why they did the switch because um, CD's cheaper to make than vinyl. And those record companies want to make more money. Okay, here we go. We got to switch activities. Good job. Or not activities. We got to do a new one. That was just one. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Number two. Here we go. Fix the sentence. What's wrong? Number two. Here we go. Get up the oven. Here we go. Number two. Get up the oven. Get up the oven. Please fix the sentence. Get up the oven. Please fix the sentence. Yeah, a disc, yeah. Sometimes we call it a disc as well. Ah, uh, pen drive. So you say pen drive, we say, I say um, USB drive. But I understand when you say pen drive, here in Japan, they say um, USB drive. Ah, oh, yeah, I heard that. So Fabrizio says last week Apple stores, Apple stopped to produce um, iPads or I mean um, iPods, iPods. So I think they they want, I think they want us to use our phone, I, or I think people use their phone now. They don't use iPods anymore. All their music is on their iPhones now. Okay, here we go. The oven, 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 oven. Get up the oven. No, what's wrong? Sleepwalker says, turn on the oven. Lolly says, preheat the oven. Harry says, turn off the oven. Tetsuro says, open the oven. Uh, Tomas says, turn on the oven. Trolley says, turn on the oven. Sleepwalker says, set the oven. So um, set the oven means to set the temperature, right? So um, it depends on what you are um, cooking in the oven. You know, are you cooking with a low temperature? Are you cooking with a high temperature? So, so turn, turn um, or set the oven. So you set the oven to a temperature, right? So if you're baking cookies, Maybe you want like 300 degrees. I'm not sure if you're, you know, if you're, let's say you're um, baking a big chicken or a turkey. Maybe you want a, a lower temperature but a longer time. If you're doing pizza in the oven, maybe you want a higher temperature and a, a shorter time. So you, you, you um, set the temperature. Okay, let's see. Fabrizio, turn on the oven. Marcos, turn on the oven. Hannah, turn on the oven and put it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, yeah, Hannah, turn on the oven, put it, and put it in the oven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I understand. 
Okay, yeah, so so uh, USB drive, pen drive. Lolly, turn on the oven. Clean the oven. Good, Julia. Fabricio, stay away from the oven. Good, it's hot. Tomas, take the chicken out of the oven. Very good. Bake the oven. Well, okay. Um, Trolley, what are you baking in the oven? So you, you might want to say, bake the chicken in the oven. Or, um, or, you know, cook the oven, or cook the chicken in the oven. Yeah. Steam the oven. Um, I don't know about that. Steam, I mean, I don't think you want to steam the oven. Or maybe steam clean. Yeah, you know, like, um, you know, maybe your oven's super dirty, super old, so you get a steam cleaner. And you want to, like, clean the oven, but with a steamer. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Fabri, okay, clean the oven. Stay away. Okay, I, I'm I'm missing the chat here. Um, get up. No, get get up. That that was the wrong sentence, Javelin. Get up the oven. You have to fix that. Change the change that sentence. Fabricio, take the lasagna out of the oven. Let's eat. Oh, don't say lasagna. That's my favorite. Um, Chaco, turn off and cool it down. Turn off the oven and cool it down. Chaco, turn off the oven and cool it down. Lolly, take the onion pie out of the oven. Don't burn it. Stop the oven. Okay, Tessa, we don't say stop. We say turn off the oven. We don't say stop. We say, turn off the oven. Sleepwalker says, put something in the oven. <laughs> it's, it's on, so put something in it. It's on, so put something in it. Man, I'm like, keep away. Okay, keep the children away from the oven. Keep the children away from the oven. That's a good idea. Clean up the oven. Let's see Julia's sentence. I missed Julia's sentence. Oh, Julia, clean the oven. Okay, Mary likes a clean oven. <laughs> Mary likes a clean oven. Let's see. Lift the oven. Okay, lift it so we can clean under it. Okay, Fabrizio, lift it. Maybe two of us, two people have to lift the oven, and then you're going to um, clean under it. You're going to get all... The, the, all the, 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 the crumbs un, from under the oven. Okay, Miley, put out the fire from the oven. Oh no, Miley is burning the kitchen again. <laughs> Miley is burning the kitchen again. Get Miley out of the kitchen. <laughs> Everyone get Miley out of the kitchen. She's going to burn it down. Get her out before she burns it down. <laughs> Ah, uh, sleepwalker, uh, warm up the oven. Yes, warm up the oven. Turn up the oven. Good, Jav Javelin. Turn up the oven. That's right. It, the, the heat is too low. Turn it up. There you go. And uh, steam, steam clean the oven. Buy, buy another oven. <laughs> sleepwalker, buy another oven. Okay, Fabrizio, remove the supper from the oven. Repair the oven. Move the oven. Clean up the oven. Turn off the oven. Push the pizza in the oven. Fix up the oven. Shake the oven. <laughs> Pay for the oven. Take care. Don't burn your hands on the oven, says Marcos. Put the pizza in the oven. Turn off the oven. Please get up. Let's see if I, please get up the oven. Incredible. Oh, oh, pick up the oven. Please pick up the oven, Hulk. Or Fabrizio, please, Hulk, pick up the oven. Please, Hulk, pick up the oven. Candy, bake cookies in the oven. Bake, how about bake the cookies in the oven? There we go, Candy. B 
bake the cookies in the oven. Buy another oven. Yes, Miley agrees that she should not be in the kitchen. <laughs> Miley is not taking offense to that. She agrees that she should not be in the oven. See, Miley's very smart because she knows what she can do and what she can't do, right? And um, that is called experience. That is called knowing yourself, right? When you know what you can do and what you can't do. So if you know you can't do it, don't do it because you might hurt somebody, hurt yourself. <laughs> okay, Uzbekistan, hello. Okay, Fabricio, please, Hulk, pick up the oven so I can clean under it. Oh, good, Fabricio, the, the oven timer buzzed. Turn off the oven. So, Fabricio, the oven timer. You want an ER. The oven timer. Okay, we got to do another one. Here we go. One more, everyone. So the oven, lots of sentences there. Lots of possible sentences, right? The oven had many, many possible answers or, you know, sentences, and you guys did well. Here we go. One more. This is number three. This is the last one, and then we will be finished. Um, and then next week, a new one. Yeah, here we go. Number three, what's wrong? Fix the sentence. Hammer the tomato. Hammer the tomato. Fix the sentence. Hammer the tomato. Fix the sentence. Hammer the tomato. Fix the sentence. Okay, sleepwalker, good. Slice the tomato. Lolly says chop the tomato. Or chop tomatoes, okay? Chop the oven. <laughs> chop the oven. Chop the tomato. Yeah, Shams, turn on the oven. Peel the tomato, yes. Slice the tomato. Cut the tomato. Cut the tomato. Peel the tomato. Dice the tomato. Smash the tomato. Bam! Maybe if you're making uh, tomato soup, you, you can smash it. I guess it's depend it depends on what you're doing with the tomato, right? What are you doing with the tomato? <laughs> oh, come on, Miley. Miley says, it is easy when you know how to do only a few things. I, Miley, knows many, many things. I want to go and visit Miley in Italy, see her beautiful home. Oh, I want to do that. Okay, Marcos, peel the tomato. Cut the tomatoes. Eat the tomato. That's a good idea, Tui. Eat the tomato. I agree with that. That's my first choice. Eat it. <laughs> Choose the best tomato. Good, Julia. Add the tomato. Good. Yeah, yeah. Add the tomato to the sauce. Or add the tomato to the, you know, the, the bowl or something, right? Add the tomato. You're making something. You're making lasagna, so you got to add the tomato. Making pizza? Add the tomato. Oh, yeah, to the salad. Yeah, I love tomatoes in a salad. Tomas says, add tomato to the salad. Um, mix the tomatoes. Okay, um, mix the tomatoes. You can do that, Lolly, but you don't want the D. Just mix. You don't want the past tense. Mix the tomato. You could say, I mixed the tomatoes already. I mixed the tomatoes already. You can say that. Bake the tomatoes. Wash the tomatoes. Yes, good, Tetsuro. Got to wash them first. That's true. Fry the tomatoes. I'm not into fried tomatoes. Some people like fried tomatoes. I, I'm not a fried tomato person. Oh, Javelin, please pass the tomato, or please pass me the tomatoes. Good. Please pass me the tomatoes. So we want a the. So we, with tomato, we want the. There's Maya. I see Maya, finally. Finally, I see Maya. Milo says, to peel tomatoes easily, we should treat them with boiling water. Yep, put them in. Yeah, to me, 
I've never, I've never peeled a tomato, never in my life. Grilled tomatoes, I like that. So I'm not into fried tomatoes, but I love grilled tomatoes, Miley. Oh, I want to go. I want to go, Miley. Cheers. I want to. I really, really do. I'm not, I'm not joking. But it's difficult. It would be hard, you know, I'm married, two kids. Hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to Italy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they would be angry. What? And then to take everyone, that's a lot of money. So it's difficult. So my advice to everyone, before you get married, before you have children, go travel. <laughs> because once you are married, once you have children, Traveling becomes very, very difficult and very, very expensive. So there's all these people I know from, from, um, from here in the chat. You know, we got, I want to see Lolly in France, but God, you know, like if I tell my wife, okay, I'm going to go and visit my friend in France. I'll be back next week. <laughs> She's going to be angry. Oh, I'm going to go visit my friends in Brazil. Bye. They're going to be, my family will be angry. <laughs> so um, it's very difficult. See, I need lots and lots of money so then I can take everyone and then there's no problem, right? So it would be no problem for me to say, okay, um, let's go to Italy and we can go visit Miley. And everyone, woo, they'd be happy, right? But that'd be super, super expensive. Okay, Maya. Mark, we peel tomatoes to make um, gas, or ga, gas pocha. I, I, I know what you're talking about. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I know that. This is Italian tomato soup. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, Maya, but I, I, I know that. Okay. Sometimes tomatoes cause uh, allergies. Oh, thank you, Miley. Ah, oh, yeah. That that's that's the only way. I have to take everyone. I can't go by myself because they would be very angry with me. Very, like, Mark, you are selfish, right? So if I went by myself, that would be selfish, right? I have to um, take them with me. Thank you for that, Miley. Thank you for letting the whole family come. That's very kind of you, Miley. Okay, let's, okay, I'm looking at the clock. It's time to change, yeah. And um, let's look at this one more time because next week it's gonna be a different, it'll be different next week. So we're done now with all of these. So good job, everyone. I'm gonna put them on the screen one more time so we can um, so we can have a look for the last time. And then next week, new new what's wrong. Okay, here we go. Make it larger. Here we go. Okay, so remember we had you know hammer the tomato, so we don't want to hammer the tomato, no, because if we, if we hammered the tomato, it would be a big mess in the kitchen. So don't hammer, you know, a hammer is like, hit it with the hammer. And if you hammered a tomato, it would be all over the kitchen. So don't do that. Get up the oven. No, we like, you turn on the oven, you, you turn off the oven. Peel the jam on the bread. No, we spread. We spread the jam on the bread. Spread the jam on the bread. Put in the toast from the toaster. From the toaster, we take out from. So it should be um, take out the toast from the toaster. One more time. Take out the toast from the toaster, not put in. You could say put in the toast. That would be all. Or put the toast in the toaster. Put the toast in the toaster. Or take out the toast from the toaster. Yes, let's do this. Here we go. Ready? Put in the toast. Put the toast in the toaster. Here we go. Put the toast in the toaster. Put the toast in the toaster. Put the toast in the toaster. 
Take out the toes from the toaster. Take out the toes from the toaster. Take out the toast from the toaster. Put the toast in the toaster. Put the toast in the toaster. Put the toast in the toaster. Take out the toes from the toaster. Take out the toes from the toaster. Take out the toes from the toaster. Oh, good. Write it on. Yeah, good, Fabrizio. Write that in the. Write that in the chat. Yeah, everyone, write that in the chat. Put the toast in the toaster. Then take the toast out from the toaster. Write that down. Okay, now the teapot. Have you looked the teapot? No. Have you? Um, let's see. How can we? Okay. Have you looked the teapot? No. Have you checked the teapot? Have you got the teapot? Have you bought a teapot? Have you have you broken the teapot? Have you have you dropped the teapot? So lots of possible um, sentences there. Next, I paid a bag of tea. So I bought a bag of tea, not I paid. You would say, I paid for a bag of tea. You can say that, I paid for a bag of tea, or I bought a bag of tea, all right? So you could say, I paid for a bag of tea, I paid for a bag of tea, I paid for a bag of tea, or I bought a bag of tea. I bought a bag of tea. I bought a bag of tea. But here, I paid a bag of tea. No, I paid for. You have to use for. Or I bought a bag of tea. Don't do the clipboard. No. Don't, don't use the clipboard. Don't, don't drop the clipboard. Don't break the clipboard. Don't use the clipboard. Right? We don't use do, but we could use other verbs. Don't drop the clipboard. Don't break the clipboard. Don't use the clipboard. Don't, don't uh, run over the clipboard. Don't write on the clipboard. Don't, don't uh, spill on the clipboard. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't. Don't burn the clipboard. All right, camera. Let's grab some pictures at the barbecue. Let's take some pictures at the barbecue. Let's let's um let's take some pictures. Yeah, there's not so many sentences here. Let's not grab, but let's let's take some pictures from No, no. Let's take some pictures at the barbecue. Let's take some pictures at the barbecue. Oh yeah, don't fold the clipboard. Yeah, don't fold the clipboard. <laughs> okay, um, here we got, here are the last four. Be sure to take a little every day. No, that's a, that's a piggy bank. That's, you wanna save money, right? So that, that piggy bank, you wanna, you want to save. So don't take, save, yeah. The purpose is to save money. Be sure to save a little every day, right? We want to save a little every day, and then, then you will have, um, then you will have a lot at the end. So be sure to save a little every day, and then our necktie. How do you keep a necktie? Keep, we would say maybe tie. How do you tie a necktie? How do you use a necktie? How do you um, put on a necktie? But I think the best would be tie. Yeah, how do you tie a necktie? How do you use a necktie? How do you wear a necktie? How do you... Um, Oh, how about, how do you clean a necktie? How do you, hmm, how do you clean a necktie? How do you tie a necktie? How do you wear a necktie? How do you put on a necktie? 
<laughs> on your head. <laughs> Put it on your head. Okay, um, the dice, yeah. It's your turn to chop the dice. No, we can, you can chop a tomato, but you can't chop dice. They're too hard. So it's your turn to throw the dice. It's your turn to play the dice. It's your turn to um, roll the dice. It's your turn to play the dice. It's your turn to um, bring the dice, right? So maybe you're going to play a game. And so you have to bring the dice to the game. So it's your turn to bring the dice. Oh, shake, yeah. It's your turn to shake the dice. It's your turn to roll the dice. It's your turn to throw the dice. Yeah, roll the dice is the best verb roll, I think. It's your turn to choose the dice. Okay, yeah, choose, that, that, can, that works. Hide the dice. <laughs> Don't hide the dice. Okay, I, okay, last one, CD. I always spill on a CD. No, I always save on a, or I always burn to a CD. I always um, save my pictures to a CD. I always save my files to a CD. I always listen to music on a CD. I always... Um, I always have an extra CD. I always, um, yeah, I always use a CD. Um, no, they are countable. Okay, good question. Um, one is die, two is dice, three dice. So one die, two dice, three dice, four dice. So dice is plural. Yeah, roll, roll, roll the dice. That's right. Roll. Stain a C. Um, I always stain it. No, 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 no. Not stain, but um, burn. Okay. All right. So let's change. So there we go. So next week we're doing new ones. All right. A new sheet. So let's. Put this away for now. Okay, so ne next week we have new ones. So I will show you real quick. Right here. These will be for, we're starting next week with new ones. Okay, here we go. We have to change activities. It is six o'clock here in Japan. So our next activity is it's your turn to throw the dice. Good, Candy. That's correct. Samuel, I always write music on a CD. Okay, good, good, good. Put the dice. Okay, put the dice away. You can say that, Trolley. Put the dice away. Uh, of course, Sleepwalker. So Sleepwalker says, wow, Mark, already prepared the new one. Yes, because I'm very, very busy right now, Sleepwalker. So I need to think ahead. <laughs> I, am, I am super, super busy right now with, with school and YouTube and, and I have to do all this. So I have no time to relax right now. So I have to like, you know, like I'm making a, 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 a new worksheet for Saturday already, right? Because soon, you know, today's Tuesday, soon um, Friday will be here, then Saturday will be here. So I always, I have to be thinking ahead and, and um, you know, preparing for next week, preparing for in two weeks. So very, very busy. But I like being busy. It's, it's um, I don't like being bored. But um, right now we call this crunch time. I'm in crunch time. There's so many things happening that I cannot relax. So. That's, so I won, I got it done out of the way so I don't have to worry about it, right? So I have like a checklist. Okay, I got to get it done, check it off, and then I can forget it and do the next one. So anyways, here we go. 
Our next activity will be describe and guess. So number three, describe. I'm going to describe a furnishing to you. Describe, and you're going to guess what it is. The topic is furnishings. Right? Furnishings are what you put in your house to make your life comfortable, right? So you could have a house. If you have no furnishings, then you're just sitting on the floor. <laughs> just all the wall, everything's blank, right? The walls are just blank. There's nothing on the floor. So you need furnishings to make your home comfortable. You need furnishings to make your life comfortable. You want to you wanna go to sleep on a bed, don't you? You want to sit on a chair, don't you? You want to eat on a table, don't you? Um, you want pictures on your wall, don't you? You want lights in your house, don't you? <laughs> so we need furnishings to make our life comfortable, yeah? So that's our topic, and here we go. And so what I will do, I'm going to put the, 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 this sheet on the screen, but I'm going to just give you 10 seconds, right? Because I don't want you to, um, I want this to be a challenge, right? So I'm just going to show you for 10 seconds so it's more of a challenge for you, all right? So I'm going to put it on the board for 10 seconds, only 10 seconds. Here we go. There it is. 10 seconds. Here. There. Hold on, I got it so you can see the words. Hold on so you can see the words. Okay, here we go. Countdown. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to one and it's off okay that's all you got that's all the time I gave you now it's time for me to describe and I need a pencil because I need to know I don't want to forget so hold on let me get a pencil real quick right here here is a pencil and so I'm going to describe one of these furnishings and in the chat you tell me what I am describing all right please here we go number one today is May 17th here in Japan it's May 17th so I'm gonna write 517 so I know I did it now okay here we go what am I describing this is attached to the wall and it gives light to your room, right? And by putting it on the wall, it gives, it gives your house some, you know, it, 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 it gives it style, right? And so it's, they're kind of expensive but they look really nice and it gives your your house some style it gives your house um, it decorates your house and it it, it it it's hard for me to describe but <laughs> it's cool right it makes your it makes your living room or bedroom or hallway look cool it makes it you know stylish it makes your your house look stylish and it's attached to your wall, right? Most are maybe on the floor or on the ceiling, but this is attached to the wall and it makes your, your, the room look good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a wall light. Yeah, I like wall light. I don't have one. My house doesn't have one, but I wish I did. I would like a uh, wall light, but I don't. Um, you kind of need like a big house. My house is small, so a wall light isn't really practical, but if you have a big house, you have a big wall, then a wall light would look really cool. Okay, 
Number two. Here we go. Second one. Number two. Dun 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 dun. Number two. Okay, I found one here. Okay, here we go. Number two. I'm going to describe something. This usually made of wood, and there's a place for you to sit down, and there's drawers, and in the drawers you put maybe important things, right? So if you, you know, like like you have to, you know, you have bills, right? You you have to pay people money. You have to pay the bank money. You have to pay your credit card money, right? You have to pay the gas company money. You have to pay the electric company money, right? And so it's important things. So you need you need a place to keep important things, right? You want to keep things in order, right? And so this is a place. It's made of wood. You sit down, and you can write on it and um, do paperwork. Some people put a computer on it. Uh, some people maybe write a letter on it. Some people um, do bookkeeping on it. And then there's drawers, and and so after you finish, you know, uh, you know, maybe you have receipts, and and you have your notebooks, you have your ledger, and so you put it in there to keep it safe. And next month, oh, you need to use it again, and so you could take it out. So um, you need a place to keep. Important documents, paperwork, in one place, organized and safe, and that's right. Alice, you got it. Candy, you got it. Um, Julia, you got it. Uh, Maya says, I have wall lights. It really makes your apartment cozy. And yeah, I, Maya, I, I love wall lights. I wish I had a wall light. I think very stylish. Yeah, Mary, you got it. Javelin, yes, it's a desk. Good, everyone. Yeah, it's a, oh no, my pencil. It's a, it's a desk. Yeah, good job. Okay, let's do one more. We do three. Remember, we always do three. All right, here we go. One more. All right. Okay, here we go. Number three. This for our next one, our third furnishing, right? We've done, we've done, we did wall light, we did desk. Now for number three. This goes in the living room, usually in the living room, right? In the living room. It's long, so a few and a few people can sit down on it, and or you can lay down on it, lie down on it, take a nap. It's 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 fluffy and and soft, and people sit on this to watch TV. People sit on this. Maybe <laughs> some people sit on this to have lunch, maybe or you know they watch TV and eat a snack on it. Um, a lot of people like to, well, I, if I'm watching a movie, I'll, I like to lie down on it so I'm comfortable and I could watch the movie for a couple hours. Um, sometimes if I'm really tired and it's Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon, I go, oh, I want to take a nap. And so I can take a nap on it. You're not, like, at night you go to bed, right? And so you take off your clothes, you put on your pajamas, and you get under the sheets and you go to bed in your bed. But during the day, you don't want to change into pajamas. No, you just take off your shoes and lie down on it and take a short nap. Take a short sleep on a, yes, sofa. All right, no problem for you guys. That's right, so there's the sofa. There's the wall light. There's the desk. Good job. So, yeah, relax on the sofa for sure. Let me um, show you real quick again, and then next week we will continue. But that's it for today with the um, furnishings. So we'll just look at it one more time here. So today we did 
a sofa and we did the wall light and a desk so those are the three things that you guys described or you guessed I described it and you guessed it correctly good job all right I'm looking at the clock oh boy we got it. actually I think we're doing time no problem I think we're, we're fine with the time we're, we're at number four so we have only two more and we have 45 minutes so I think we have good timing today so let's go to activity number four one two three and so here is number four number four actually I'm gonna put four right here just right here number four dictation cards dictation that means you need a pencil and you need paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word yeah so please get your pencil and get your paper and our topic is um, enjoy an activity enjoy an occasion so enjoy and then we want to enjoy an um, activity or an occasion okay enjoy an activity enjoy an occasion enjoy an activity enjoy an occasion and we are going to do we're, we're kind of like I'm changing how we do it you know we're doing like the fast slow and then shadow so we're gonna do a little we've been doing it a little different than kind of changing it right because it's kind of good to, to to change things up right we've been doing it kind of the same way for a long time but that's good right because we 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 know what to do we can we can accomplish it right so so it's good to have you know the same way but then sometimes let you know it's good also to to do it a little differently right so so step one we'll do it fast so I'm just gonna read the sentences fast and if you if it's too fast for you don't worry right because we'll go slow so we're just I'm going to go super fast. I'm not going to wait long. Each card I'm going to say three times, but fast. I'm going to go just say the sentence, say the sentence, say the sentence, and then go to the next card. Say the sentence, say the sentence, say the sentence, next card. Okay? So you're going, whoa, it's too fast, Mark. Don't worry because I will go the second time, I will go slow, right? So we're going to go fast, slow. Then we will shadow. We will we will say the sentence, yeah. And then after that, um, we'll talk about the meaning. You will see it then. So shadow and then meaning, kind of that's the same. We'll we'll do that together. So we'll shadow. That is so. St step one and two, you are listening and writing. Step three you are saying the sentence right and then and then we will talk about the meaning and then step four is the quiz so in the quiz we will choose three cards you will see the picture but not the sentence and in the chat you have to write the sentence based on the picture so here we go let's do it our topic enjoy and um enjoy an activity, an occasion. And we're gonna use not only enjoy, but also um, a lot of fun. We're gonna use um, a nice time. We're gonna use fun, okay? So um, enjoy means fun. Enjoy means, um, yeah, nice. So enjoy means having a nice time. Enjoy means having fun enjoy means um having a lot of fun a lot of fun okay so here we go we are going to go fast our step one is fast so are you ready oh the pole manome yeah this would be the right time to do the pole wouldn't it 
I've been forgetting the poll the last couple weeks. I feel so bad. Yeah, okay, let's, this is a good time to do the poll. Okay, thank you, Manome. Thank you, thank you. I for, I'm, I've been forgetting the polls a lot. Okay, 112 people voted. Mwah, fantastic, thank you, everyone. So at the top of the chat, there's a blue box. Yeah, it's called the poll. And I asked you to finish the sentence. So we have four choices. I enjoy mm, most. I enjoy mm, most, okay? So we have birthdays, holidays, exercise, and relaxing. So I enjoy birthdays most. I enjoy holidays most. I enjoy exercise most. I enjoy relaxing most. And they are very tight, wow. So these are, it, it, th this, this is interesting because we're like tied. Oh boy, this has never happened. So we have two, so I enjoy birthdays most, 22%. Oh, it just changed. <laughs> oh no, it just changed. Anyways, okay, so at 22%, I enjoy birthdays most and exercise. So birthdays and exercise are tied at 20, no, yeah, 22%. So 22% uh, of the people said, I enjoy birthdays most, and 22% of the people said, I enjoy exercise most. Now, for the, the, the second most popular, is holidays. So at 27%, I enjoy holidays most. And the winner, number one, at 30%, I enjoy relaxing most. So the winner, <laughs> most people said, I enjoy relaxing most. So you guys are couch potatoes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I also enjoy relaxing. <laughs> okay, good job, everyone. Thank you, thank you. All right. Well, yeah, so that, that was the winner. Relaxing was the winner. <laughs> you guys like to relax. Okay, let's get to the dictation. We're going to go fast. You need a pencil. Here we go. Don't worry if it's too fast because we will go slow. Here we go. Countdown. We're going fast, everyone. So I hope you're ready. Got your pencil. So if you have a pencil and paper, that's best. So don't worry about the computer, okay? If you, if you have to use the computer, oh well, you, that, that can't be helped. But if you can write with a pencil and paper, if you are home, or if you're at your office, or you are at work, or whatever, if you can use a pencil and paper, do that, because that, that's best, all right? If you can't, then, you know, do your computer. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. Number two. Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Number three. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Number four. We had a nice time. We had a nice time. We had a nice time. Number five. I really enjoyed the party. I really enjoyed the party. I really enjoyed the party. Number six. Did you enjoy the movie? Did you enjoy the movie? Did you enjoy the movie? Number seven, they had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. 
Okay, number eight. Last card, number eight. I enjoy reading a good book. I enjoy reading a good book. I enjoy reading a good book. All right, so that was fast, very fast. I didn't really stop between numbers, did I? That was fast. And actually, what's a good idea, before I start, you should put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then, you know, you can just write the sentence on the paper, right? So like on your paper, before we start, just write like one, two, three, right? And then when we start, then you can just do 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 right? Okay, now let's do it slowly, okay? So now I will go slowly, so you can, if you, now you can check your sentence. Um, if you didn't get all the words, this is your chance to get the words, all right? So this is, um, for you if, you, if you did it, you can check how you did it or how you did. And if you have some missing words, this is when you, you put in those missing words. Okay, so we will go slow. Here we go. Slow. Step number two. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Number one. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. Number two. Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Okay, card number three. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Card number four. Uh, okay, Maya has a question. What, what options do you mean, Maya? Oh, 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 the poll. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, Maya. Um, actually, it's difficult. I, I, actually, I don't enjoy birthdays. <laughs> I'm, I, too many, I'm too old now. Too many birthdays. I don't want... I don't need a birthday. I no, actually, I enjoy my birthday. I, I my birthday was a couple weeks ago. I had a good time, so I enjoy all these. Yeah, it's hard, difficult. If I have to choose one, ah, uh, holidays. So I'm gonna for me holidays, because I don't have to work. <laughs> so I guess holidays, but they're all. I enjoy all four of those. I say that about birthday because um, it's just weird getting old, right? It's, it's strange. But I still enjoy a birthday. I, I still enjoy my birthday. Okay, here we go. Number four. We had a nice time. We had a nice time. We had a nice time. <laughs> Love you, Maya. Miss you. I wish we could be on um, Zoom together.
Number five. Number five. I really enjoyed the party. Number two. I really enjoyed the party. Sonara is here. Hello, Sonara. Mwah. Good to good to see Sonara. Three. I really enjoyed the party. Number six. Number six. Did you enjoy the movie? Did you enjoy the movie? Did you enjoy the movie? All right, number seven. They had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. Third time. They had a lot of fun. Last card, here we go, number eight. I enjoy reading a good book. I enjoy reading a good book. I enjoy reading a good book. All right, so that was slow, right? We went fast. We went slow. You, you haven't seen the sentence yet, right? I haven't. We've, 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 we have been doing dictation, right? So you haven't seen the sentence. You've been listening and writing, okay? So, but now we're going to shadow and then you will see the sentence, okay? So now it's time for speaking practice. Not writing, but speaking. Say the sentence with me at the same time. You're using two skills at the same time, your listening skills and speaking skills. Input, output, input, output, all right? So now it is time to, to speak, speaking practice. After we uh, say these sentences three times, I will show you the card, you will see the sentence, you will see the picture, and you will understand more, all right? Here we go, shadow time, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. So I had a, a nice trip. I had a, a nice vacation. It was, it was wonderful. It was fun. I enjoyed myself. It was a nice vacation. Card number two, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. 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 Right? So, the purpose of Disneyland is so families can go and have fun. Yeah, so uh, his name is Roy Disney. He's he's the original. He's the he's the he he made Mickey Mouse. He's he's the man, um, Roy Disney. And um, so he built Disneyland so families can go spend time together, enjoy rides and attractions and and um, have a good time <laughs> all right card number three it was fun it was fun 
It was fun. It was fun. So we had a good time. We, we enjoyed each other. We, we laughed. We, we played. We had, it was fun. We played, we laughed, we talked. It was fun. All right, card number four. We had a nice time. 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 So we, our bicycle, we, we, so past tense, we had. So maybe yesterday, maybe this morning. So it's over. And so we're talking about, oh yeah, we had a nice time. So I enjoyed our bicycle trip. I enjoyed um, hanging out with you. I had, I had fun with you. I, you know, we, we had a nice time. I thought, you know, we had a nice time. We, we went on a bicycle trip. We, we had lunch. We talked. We had a nice time. Okay, number five. I really enjoyed the party. 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 Thank you for inviting me. So enjoyed, that's past tense. So, so maybe last week, uh, yesterday, today's Monday, or you know, today's Tuesday. So maybe two days ago on Sunday, you had a party and I enjoyed myself. I was happy. It was good to see everyone. You had, you know, thank you for having a party. It was really nice of you. I really enjoyed the party. It was fun. Good times, good times. Number six. Did you enjoy the movie? 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 So now it's, it's past tense. The, the movie's over. We're walking out of the movie theater. We're talking about the movie. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? What did you think of it? Was it exciting? Were you disappointed? Were you, did you cry? Did you laugh? Did you enjoy the movie? Okay, number seven. They had a lot of fun. 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 So past tense again. And um, they, so that's not you, right? Maybe that's your mother and father. Maybe that's your family. Maybe that your friends. So not you, right? They, you're, you didn't do it. You didn't go. But you, you want to ask them about it, right? And so, um, or you tell, they had a lot of fun. So you tell your friend, your friends ask you, oh, um, did your parents enjoy their, their trip? Oh yeah, they had a lot of fun. Did your mother and father, um, did, did, did your mother and father go to the park? Oh yeah, they had a lot of fun. Did your mother and father go on vacation? Oh yeah, they had a lot of fun. Did your mother and father go to the party? Oh yeah, they had a lot of fun. Okay, card number eight. I enjoy reading a good book. 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 Yeah, so, so one of the things I, I like is reading a good book. I don't like reading a boring book. I don't like reading a, um, I guess, you know, if it's, if it's not enjoyable, it's boring, right? So I want to read an enjoyable book. So one thing, I enjoy reading a good book. I enjoy going for a walk 
I enjoy going out to a restaurant. I enjoy exercising. I enjoy relaxing. I enjoy reading a good book. <laughs> all right, all right. That was shadowing and we talked about the meaning. Now it's time for a quiz. So now you need a pencil. No, 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 no. You're just going to in the chat. Yeah, in the chat. So I'm going to mix up the cards. So in the chat, right? You're going to write the sentence in the chat, but you only can see the picture. Oh, very interesting, Tomas. Tomas says, all books are good, just not for everybody. Good, Tomas. That's right. Everyone, just because you don't like it doesn't mean someone else doesn't, right? Because you don't like it means that somebody else doesn't, right? So maybe you like it, but someone else, they like it. That's right. Oh, Mary. I love you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Uh, Javelin says, I have mistakes. Don't, don't worry. We're all here learning. Um, Javelin, just look at the chat. You know, lots of people here. Um, you have, there's lots of um, good examples here. So don't worry. You know, we're, you're, we're learning together. We're practicing together. So of course, you're going to make mistakes. That's natural. So don't worry about mistakes. That's natural. That's called the learning process. That's called learning. Making a mistake, making mistakes is called learning. That's natural. Mitra, mwah, thank you. Okay, here we go. It's time for the quiz. I have a card here and I'm going to cover the sentence. So look at the picture and write the sentence. Do you remember the sentence? Here we go, number one. What is the sentence? Do you remember? Uh, Tomas, we enjoy you being here with us, Tomas. We enjoy you being with us together, Tomas. So, it's enjoyable because we're together, yeah? So we're having fun because we're together. Without you, it's not fun for me. So I need you here with me so I can, I can do it. If you're not here, it'd be very, very difficult for me, right? No, no interaction, no, no feedback from you. So, so I need you here for me. Okay, you guys got it. Let's have a look. It was fun. You guys are, yeah, no problem. It was fun. Yes. Nice. Okay, here we go. Number two, number two. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? <laughs> yeah, Tomas, I need you here, Tomas. I need you, Tomas. Chi kid, hello. <laughs> All right, sleepwalkers on the board. Now this is longer sentence, so this is more this is a more difficult sentence. Let's see, Sleepwalker, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Fabricio, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Hello, Tran. Tetsuro, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Julia, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Three, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Mano May, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Mary, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Okay, yeah, Uma, everyone, no problem. Let's have a look. You guys are doing great. 
Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Nicely done. One more card. One more for the quiz. Number three, here we go. What is the sentence? Let's see, Miley, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Very good. Hey, Pierre, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Sonara, my daughter enjoyed Disneyland in Boston. Oh, okay, well, Sonara, there's no Disneyland in Boston, but she must have, from Boston, she probably went to Disney World. So we have in, in, in the United States, there are two, one in Los Angeles and one in Florida. I've been to both. I've been to three. I've been, of course, Los Angeles. I've been to Disney, Disney World once. And here in, in, in Japan, we have um, one in, Disney, in, in, in Japan. There's a Disneyland. And they're all the same. But they're all enjoyable. <laughs> I enjoy Disneyland. Okay, you guys, okay, I see your sentences. They had a lot of fun. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got, we, we have, yeah, okay. Here we go. Yeah, three, Disneyland was built for the enjoyment of families. Good. Okay, number three, you guys got it. We had a nice time. Good, good, Fabrizio. You got it. Yeah, Tomas Tetsuro. Oh, yeah, there's one in Paris. That's right, Julia. So there's a Disneyland in Paris. I would like to go there. <laughs> I'd like to go to Paris. We had a nice time. Good, good, good. All right, everyone. Nicely done. Yay. All right, all right. So. That was the quiz. All right, we did it. You did it. You did it. All right. Now we got one more activity to do. Number five, Lolly's Revenge. It is a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. And there will be four steps. Yes, step one. The conversation. Step two. Questions. Answers. Step three. Reading. Step four. Shadowing. All right. There we go. One, two, three, four. And I have the conversation right here. Let me get the conversation. We got it right here. Joe and Sue. It's time for Joe and Sue. <laughs> Sleepwalker likes it. Okay. This is Joe. This is Sue. When you see my thumb, this is when Joe is speaking. When you see my little finger, that is when Sue is speaking. Yes, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Here we go. Conversation time. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Joe is first. That was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. I agree. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem, I know a place. Then let's buy new footwear. 
Oh, good man, oh man. Okay, here we go. One more time. Jove. That was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. I agree. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem. I know a place. Then let's buy new footwear. Ah, so that's the challenge, Sleepwalker. That's one of the questions. <laughs> See, you got to like think about the conversation. So Sleepwalker is on the ball. She is... She's thinking, wait, there's no, what, 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 what did they do, right? Sleepwalker is going, huh? What, what happened? That's your challenge. Okay, Lolly says, last time more slowly, please. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's do it again. I will go slowly. I will go more slowly. Okay, well, I don't know, right? We got to, we got to, it's your, your, what you think. Okay, I, I, I want it open for your interpretation. I want you to, um, your idea. I want to hear your idea. Okay, so conversation, one more time, and then we will go with the questions. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Okay, so Tomas, you, Tomas is like thinking and you guys are, you're using your English brain right now. <laughs> you're switching from, you know, your, your first language to your second language, right? You're switching languages and that's great. You're thinking in um, English now. So that's, that's what it's about. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go slower. Five, four, three, two, one. That was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. I agree. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem. I know a place. Then, Let's buy new footwear. Okay. That was the conversation. Let's check it off. Okay. Questions and answers. Question number one. Here we go. Question number one. What did they do? Question number one. What did they do? What did they do? Question number one. What did they do? Okay, Sleepwalker says hiking. Fabrizio question. Right, so I didn't, I didn't say. So it's your, you have to interpret like the clues. There are clues in the conversation, right? So for example, the scenery was fantastic, right? That's a clue. Their, their legs are sore. That's a clue. Um, 
They didn't have the proper footwear. That's a clue. Uh, next time they want to go a lower altitude. That's a clue. Right? So, so I didn't tell you, but there are hints in the conversation. There are clues in the conversation. So you have to listen and think about those, those clues. And from those clues, um, what do you think um, they went? Where do you think they went? Okay, we have um, hiking. We have rock climbing. They have... Um, they, they had gone to the mountains. They climbed a high hill. They walked on the moon. <laughs> yeah. So actually, you know, all those are, you know, those are all correct, except the moon. <laughs> those are all, right? So th those are, um, you can, those are all correct, right? You can say, Hiking, you can say mountaineering, right, Lolly? Mountaineering, you can say that. You can say rock climbing. So those all match the clues, right? When you're in the mountains, it's a beautiful, beautiful scenery, right? Um, when, when you're when you're hiking in the mountains, high altitude, maybe your your legs get sore. If you have the wrong shoes, your legs can get sore, right? So. Those are, you guys are all correct. So good job, everyone. Mwah. Good job. So you passed. <laughs> you got it correct. Okay, number two, here we go. Number two, question number two. Um, what did Joe enjoy most? What did Joe enjoy most? Can you describe it? So here we got like part one and part two in this. Number two, what did Joe enjoy most? Can you describe it? What did Joe enjoy most? Can you describe it? Yeah, Lolly. Can you describe the scenery? So just use, you know, whatever you want. So can you describe it? Yeah, okay, good. Um, Lolly, or I mean Sleepwalker. Can, y yeah, can you describe the scenery? Um... Okay, let's see. Joy, okay, well, okay, Maya. Joe and Sue went on mountain hiking. No, that's not a word. <laughs> no, Maya. Um, so you, you could say um, Joe and Sue went hiking in the mountains. Hiking in the mountains. Y yeah, Marcos, good. Can you describe it? So, so when I say that, can you describe it? So I want you, from your experience from what you think it would be like. So if you, if you went um, hiking in the mountains, please describe the scenery. So it, let's say yesterday you went hiking in the mountains, please describe the scenery. What did you see yesterday when you were hiking in the mountains? What did you see? when you are hiking in the mountains. Please describe the scenery. Okay, Sleepwalker says, they met some wild animals and um, breathed fresh air. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, I, I wouldn't say, we don't say breathe fresh air. Um, gosh. What do we say? Um, we, 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 we had some fresh air. We, oh, I can't believe I, I, I'm, I can't think of, I don't, we don't say breathe fresh air. Oh boy, this is, this is, um, this is um, bothering me right now. Um, 
boy, that was when, when I went to the mountains and, and breathe. Maybe you're right. We, we breathe some fresh. I think there's another way to say it. I can't, I can't. I, my mind is blank. Okay. Okay, Tetsuro. Um, so there was a clean lake under white clouds. Okay, good, good, Tetsuro. So, okay, there was a... Okay, Tetsuro, there was a beautiful clean lake under white clouds. That's a great description. So one more time, Tetsuro. There was a beautiful clean lake under white clouds. Or actually, we say blue lake. I think that's better. Um, there was a blue, or how about a clean blue lake? There was a clean blue lake under white clouds. There was a beautiful blue clean lake or clean blue lake under white clouds. Fabrizio, uh, there was a squirrel in the trees. Miley, Joe, Joe enjoyed most the scenery, all the clouds below them. Yeah, because they're up in the mountains and so they're high altitudes so they could look down on the clouds. Okay, Tomas, they could see nice high mountains around them. Okay, Manome, there were tall trees and fresh air. Yeah, breathe fresh air. I, I guess, yeah, that, that's, let me see, that, that's, I'm, I'm going to go back to Sleepwalker. Breathe fresh air. Um, and then what did Manome say? fresh air yeah I, I guess okay I'm gonna go back to if we if we get rid of breathe let's see maybe that's what's um, okay I like this sleepwalker they met some wild animals and fresh air T to me that that's better it, it, right in that sentence so sleepwalker they met some wild animals and fresh air I like that sentence the breathe kind of is messing me up. I don't know, it's making me question. So I think it sounds better. They, they met some wild animals and fresh air. I think that's a good sentence. Julia, the scenery was, okay, green trees, clear river, wild animals, nice. Sonora, a lot of, a lot of trees and bugs. <laughs> A beautiful waterfall. All right. Okay, Fonda, thank you. Oh, Harry, um, I didn't see anything because everything was covered in clouds. <laughs> You're so high, yeah, or real foggy, you know. A cloudy day. Um, Fabrizio, Joe found peace on the mountain. No bills, no traffic and no noisy neighbors. Mwah, Fabrizio, that's my paradise. That's paradise. Okay, Tetsuro, there was a clean blue lake under white clouds, perfect. Fabrizio, Joe thought the people down there were ants. Get some fresh air. That got some fresh air. Yeah, that that's the way we do it. Yeah, we don't need breathe. Yeah, like let's get some fresh air, right? So, or maybe um, you tell your kids they're in the house playing videos. Go out and get fresh air. Go out and get some fresh air. Sleep out. They they met some wild animals and fresh air. Yeah, I like that. The breathe part. I don't know why that's bothering me. It, it kind of, it's making me sound, it's not natural to say that. It doesn't sound natural. More natural, get some fresh air. Let's get some fresh air. Let's go hiking and get some fresh air. Let's go out and get some fresh air. 
Ha ha, Tarzan, swinging in the trees. Yes, I do, Maya. Maya asked me, Mark, do you live in a noisy place? Japan is a noisy place. Japan. <laughs> Japan is a noisy place. Actually, there are some places like I have a, I, it's not really a mountain, but close to my house, there's like a, a, a large hill, kind of a small mountain. Let's say a small mountain. And when I have time, I can go up there and it'll be quiet. So there are some quiet spots, but in general, Japan is a very noisy country. Okay, here we go. Question number three. Question number three. Why are their legs sore? Question number three. Why are their legs sore? So Joe and Sue have sore legs. Why? Yeah, good, Candy. Joe enjoyed beautiful scenery. Yes. Oh, good. Mitra says they met some deer. So deer is um, plural or that deers. We don't we don't have to say deer. So you can say deer. They met some deer. Good sleepwalker. So question number three: Why are their legs sore? Sleepwalker says they didn't have the right shoes. I do. You're right, Manome. I, I do. I I do live. Um, I, I've been here a long. I I like it actually. It's noisy. I wish it was quieter, but um, you, you know, like I do the New Year's uh, Day video. So I go up on my little mountain. I take a uh, I take a, a panoramic video to show you. The, the 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 scenery around my house and so yeah it's okay yeah okay why are their legs sore yeah they didn't have the right footwear that's true yep Alice because they were not wearing the right shoes okay um she kid, Joe and Sue took some pictures like trees, wild animals, and maybe they met Mark. <laughs> good, good Chi. Marco says their legs are sore because they didn't have the right shoes. That's right. Okay, nice, nice. Maya says Joe and Sue were climbing. It's way too hard for untrained people. I know it from my experience. Okay, nice. Because they spent a lot of time on the sofa. Okay, hey, here we go. Number four, one more question. Number four, where will they go next time? Question number four, where will they go next time? So, where will Joe and Sue go next time? Fabrizio, their, their legs are sore because they used All-Star. Oh, you mean the, 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 the basketball All-Stars. Yeah, we talked about the Converse. Yeah, they're not very comfortable. Those are old shoes, the, the old school. All-star converse, con converse, converse all-stars, converse all-stars. Okay, where will they go next time? Lolly says, in a lower altitude. Yeah, so, so maybe they were like on a high altitude, a bit high in the mountains. So next time, they will go lower, a lower altitude. Yeah, good sleep, Parker. Next time, to the lower altitude. Oh, no, Fabrizio. Everest Mountain, that's a very high altitude. <laughs> Good luck, Joe and Sue. Good luck to them. Julia, because their footwear was not proper. Okay, so Julia, next time they will go to a lower altitude because, so, you know, they went 
up to the mountains. Next time, where will they go? Alice, yes, they will go to the lower altitudes. Good. Umesh, they will go to the Alps. Manoma, they will go to the shoe shop to buy new shoes. Tomas, they will go to a lower, lower place next time, perhaps in a mine. <laughs> go down in a mine. Tetsuo, they will go in a lower altitude next time. Marcos, they should go in a lower altitude. All right. All right, Chi Kid. They will go to Japan because they want to meet you. Okay, good job, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we still got two more steps to do. So that was good. You answered the questions. Okay, let's read it now. So here is the, the conversation. I'm going to put it on the board so we can read it together. Okay, so let's, let's read it together. Oh, wait, Maya says, um, if I were them, I would follow Tomas's advice and go to the beach in flip-flops. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Maya. Okay, let's, let's read it together. Here it is. Here is the conversation. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do full, full screen. Little, I gotta put it down a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, here we go. That was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. I agree. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem. I know a place. Then let's buy new footwear. Okay, let's read it again. Okay, that was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. I agree. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem, I know a place. Then let's buy new footwear. Um, no, okay, um, no. Okay, good, good question. So, um, Sleepwalker asks footwear equals shoes. Footwear equals boots, anything that goes on your feet. So you can have um, sneakers, boots, flip-flops, sandals, um, moccasins. Um, yeah, so what you put on your feet, that's footwear. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Tomas. Okay, let's let's shadow. So that so that that was that was reading. So we read it. So let's mark it off. Now let's shadow. Um let's see. Tetsuro. Mark they will or they would is both What's the rest of this? I'm not. Let's see, Tetsuro. What? Um, I, I need to know the the rest of the sentence, Tetsuro. <laughs> Harry, Harry says I want to meet Joe and Sue because they always come to class. 
Yeah, our class. Every Tuesday, they're, they're here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Let, let's um, shadow now, shall we? Let's shadow. <clears throat> so let's say the sentence together. Okay, here we go. This is speaking practice. So let's say the sentence together. Here we go. Okay, Tessio, hold on. Wait, Tessio has. They will go in a lower altitude. They would go. No, because will future, right? So Tetsuro, so um, next time in the future, they will go to a, a lower altitude. So, so um, now would, that's a different, so we have to change the sentence. So um, you could say they would like to go they would like to go to a lower altitude. So that's more of a possibility, right? So Tetsuo, they will, that's for sure. Okay, so next time they will go to a lower altitude, that is for sure. Where they would like to, that's um, possibility, right? So we're not sure it's gonna happen for sure or not, okay? So they will, that is for sure. They would like to, um, it's a possibility, possibility. Okay, let's, let's shadow now, okay? So here we go, let's, let's say the conversation, count down. Okay, good, Tetsuro. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? What did you enjoy most? What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. The scenery was fantastic. The scenery was fantastic. I agree. I agree. I agree. My legs are a little sore. My legs are a little sore. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. Mine are too. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. I don't think I had the right shoes. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. If we do it again, let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. Yes, I want to do it again. Yes, I want to do it again. Okay, but Let's go in a lower altitude. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem, I know a place. No problem, I know a place. No problem, I know a place. Then let's buy new footwear. Then Let's buy new footwear. Then, let's buy new footwear. Okay, good, good, good. Let's, that was the, that we shadowed, right? We're, we, we said the conversation together. Yeah, we were speaking. That was speaking practice. Let's look at it one more time. Let's have a look at the conversation one more time, and then um, that will be it. Okay. Let's have a look one more time. Here we go. Joe says, that was a lot of fun. What did you enjoy most? The scenery was fantastic. I agree. My legs are a little sore. Mine are too. I don't think I had the right shoes. If we do it again, Let's get proper footwear. Yes, I want to do it again. 
Okay, but let's go in a lower altitude. No problem, I know a place. Then let's buy new footwear. Then let's buy new footwear. Okay, that was Lolly's Revenge. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Well, that was it, everyone. You did it. One, two, three, four, five. We did five activities. Yes, we did. Mwah. Good job, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me. Like I say, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you, Green Team. Mwah. Thank you, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best. <laughs> You're the best. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, we did it completely. Oh, okay, Natalia. Oh, first time. Thank you. You're professional. You're super, super um, great support. I really, uh, Natalia, that is, you're very, very kind to me, supportive to me. So you're, you're giving great support, and um, I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, because um, that, that's just wonderful that you, you give that kind of support to me, and I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, there's only a few of you who are professionals and, um, you know, who give that support. So. I, I really, really appreciate it of that. And I'm happy that you're here with us live. That That's great. So thank you, Nadia. Okay. Yeah. Mwah. Um, it's time to go. We've been here over two hours. Yeah. Thank you, Fabrizio. Join the green team. Um, it, it's really kind of you to invite other people to join us. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so, it, it, you know, if, if, if you can, help me so I can help you. It, it, I appreciate that. It helps me every month. You know, every little bit helps, and every little bit gives me extra, um, you know, extra power to, to, to be here with you every week. So, um, thanks, everyone. Also, um, of course, joining the, joining the team is a great help. Also... I have books at Amazon and a Patreon page and a website. So everything, there's a link to it all below. And so um, that is um, ways to help me so I can help you. And um, I will be back on Friday, everyone. Friday, May 20th already. Jeez. So time just goes so fast, doesn't it? It will be May 20th. I'll be here on Friday, 5 p.m., Saturday, I have, I have class on Saturday at the university for the next, like, I have class on Saturday morning, this Saturday, and then all of June. So the time's going to be different for Saturday, 3 p.m. Japan time. So I will be here Saturday at 3 p.m. Japan time. That's the 21st. 28th will be 10 a.m. But June will be the June will be at three o'clock. So I don't know. My schedule right now is crazy. I am super, super busy. And um, Saturdays I have to go to the university for like for for eight times, something like that. So, anyways, I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm sorry if it doesn't work for you. I'm very sorry, but um, just you know, um, June and a little bit of July and then you know soon summer is going to be here and then I'll be back I'll be off I'll be able to have more time with you in the summer but for now um, June's going to be super super busy so June it's on Saturday it's going to be 3 p.m. but then July a couple in July and then back in summer break so anyways um, I will be here on Friday thank you Lay pray. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone. You guys are very, very kind to me. I really, really appreciate it. And um, I hope to see you on Friday. Please come back 
and see me on Friday if you can. If the time works out for you, I'll be here at 5 p.m. I live in Japan, so when I say 5 p.m., that is Japan time. Okay, great. Um, yes, yeah. So, so Harry, so Friday will be at 5 p.m. Now, Japan, right? I live in Japan. So Friday, 5 p.m. Okay, and Saturday, usually 10 a.m., 10 a.m., but um, no, what am I doing? Today's Tuesday. Friday's 10 a.m. What am I? I'm all, I'm all confused. Friday's not, no, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. Friday's 10 a.m., no change. Today is, today's Tuesday, 5 p.m. I'm, I'm all confused. Okay, here, I'm going to write the times. Tuesdays. 5 p.m. Fridays, 10 a.m. Okay, and usually Saturdays at, at 10 a.m. too, but, but I, I have to, I, for my university students, we do um, student teaching, and so I have to, um, so on Saturdays, we, we go to an elementary school together, and with the university students, we are teaching kids English. And so that, I, so I have like seven of, or actually eight of those classes. And so um, I have to go Saturday morning to the university, and so I can't be here at 10 a.m. So I get back here in the afternoon so I can do it at 3 p.m. So Saturday is 3 p.m., And, and so there's eight of those, there's, there's eight of those training sessions. And so I did one last week. I have one this week, the 28th. I don't. In June, I have every Saturday in June. And then July, there are two. So I did one, and now there are seven left. So I have to do one on uh, this Saturday. So then that's five, or no, two. Yeah, and so now there's six, and so I have four in June and two in July. So please um, bear with me. Um, so for this Saturday, this week, 3 p.m., and that will be uh, May 21st. So May 21st, 3 p.m., Japan time. I live in Japan, okay? Oof, okay. Friday, 10 a.m., Japan time. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you. Um, love and peace to you and your family, okay? Let's count down to saying goodbye together. I really, really appreciate everyone for you to be here with me. I really, really do. And let's count down together to say goodbye. I love you. Peace and love. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Friday at 10 a.m. <laughs> Japan time. Okay, bye.